Aloha, my name is Brady Barrows and I'd like to talk to you about demodectic rosacea. I wrote a book, Rosacea 101, that's a very comprehensive book, but I'm going to discuss today just simply one of the chapters. It's chapter 7 in my book on page 28 and it's called Demodectic Rosacea, a rosacea variant. Now I'm the lone rosacea ranger in proposing demodectic rosacea as a rosacea variant. You won't find in any medical literature this term demodectic rosacea as a rosacea variant. You're only going to find it in my book. And if you read my chapter you're going to find out why it's a valid name for this type of rosacea. Uh, there's another disease altogether called demodicosis and I discuss that in Appendix I in my book and this is a disease all on its own but there's much literature medical literature and research papers discussing the link that demodicosis has with rosacea and the controversy in a nutshell is these mites, these demodex mites, there's two types of mites whether or not they play a major role in the pathogenesis of rosacea or not. Whether or not the pre-existing rosacea is there or whether the demodex mites are there first. What's causing the problem? Well, we don't really know. But nevertheless, there's a substantial amount of research on this and I list that research on demodex and rosacea in Appendix K. Calling this a rosacea variant, demodectic rosacea, makes sense, and you'll see why if you read my book. I also sh explain what you can do to test for demodex mites. It's a simple skin biopsy that you need to request your physician to take to get the demodex population density. And this is important because in rosaceans, uh, there are more demodex mites on, on rosaceans' face than on the average population because everyone has demodex mites on their face. But on rosaceans, there seems to be a problem, and it may be your problem with your rosacea. It may not be. You may be suffering from another type of rosacea. There's so many to discuss here, I, I don't have the time. But I do discuss what the physicians will offer you, the conventional uh, ways to treat demodectic rosacea. And then I also mention in the book uh, some alternatives. One of the alternatives is this little jar made in China, and it's called the Zong Zhao Medical Ointment. And this has had marvelous results for many people, including myself. I, I love this. It works fine. If the demodex don't have anything to do with it, I would still use this because it's a marvelous, it's the best cream I've found uh, for rosacea. You can get this at my website. It's uh, rosations.com, and all you got to do is look on the left side, and you'll see a picture of this little jar, Zong Zhao, or what we affectionately call it, the ZZ cream. You might want to try it. And I hope that you'll be stimulated to buy my book about demodectic rosacea. Aloha.